So um, I'm usually the negative Nancy of the group between me and Bobby, but I'm going to go ahead and let him take it off. We're going to start it off with uh -oh. something that he wanted to talk about, and that is MPG. Yeah, this, this is almost <laughs> one of those things where if somebody got me this figure, I would be like, yo, where's the kid at? Because yeah. it's not an Earth jet, it's a space jet, which I could totally see this being. That makes, yeah, and, yeah. and it rivals Astro Train. Yeah. That's like a that's like a Hulu skirt skirt. I mean that's yeah. Now if they painted it green oh, God. and gave them a feature of going back and forth, then I might have to pick it up. If I were to get these figures, they would stay in the box. It's throwing me off, but I don't like the color of the fist and the gun. I guess they had extra plastic from their Megatron. I've canceled a pre-order before. And then have you bought the figure again? That's not the point. I said I've canceled a pre-order before. <laughs> They're just going to rape my pockets this this year. That's not hard to do. Welcome back, BBC fans. As always, I'm Bobby the Bot. And I'm James the Con. And we're back with another round of news. But before we do that... Want to give a special shout out to our official sponsor, The Chosen Prime, where you can find many of the figures we're going to talk about or any of your other toy needs uh, in stock or pre-order. We also want to give a special shout out to our members. Thank you very much for your support and uh, really joining us on this journey. And of course, last but definitely not least, all of you subscribers out there, really, really appreciate this. It really keeps us going and motivated to put out, hopefully, content that you enjoy. And with that let's jump into the news yeah so um i'm usually the negative nancy of the group between me and bobby but i'm gonna go ahead and let him take it off we're gonna start it off with uh -oh. something that he wanted to talk about and that is mpg so um these are via gora o2 streak a tfw i believe and he showed off the train bot combiner raid in with combiners wars combiners and he fits right in with all of them so bobby what do you have to say about this okay so this is a, a debate show so we definitely love all the debate all the comments please if you don't agree with us it's not meant for you to if you do agree with us great but this is what we want we want content here and one of the things that we were receiving a lot of gripe about especially when we had the interview with tm reviews shout out to tm reviews uh was us talking about how the mpg line doesn't seem to be masterpiece masterpiece scale um hello this is what we were saying was it fits in with chug everybody's concerns with this new mpg line and mp merging is the fact that it's not going to scale well with other masterpiece figures this <laughs> this tells you right here this is chug i mean not only that but uh, uh, TM Reviews did a review on this figure in combined mode, and it was terrible. It would not stand up. It was falling all over the place. Now, I don't own this, so I can't talk about the quality. But just looking at it does not say masterpiece. It does not say that I should pay $150 plus per figure or that I should be into or excited about figures that come out with MPG under the quote unquote masterpiece line because so far what we've gotten has not fit the quality or the scale yes i'm talking about size here of what i've come to know masterpiece figures to be this is ridiculous and so, i'm going to stop right now okay i'm going to be the devil's advocate two things one i think it's very important to say that that is the ko of the devastator because if it wasn't, I don't think anybody would be worried about the size. Or everything else is a KO, and I don't think they made a KO of that um, Minosaur. But I think this one might be smaller than the rest. Because Japan has such a fascination with trains. So they focused on having an HO train scale combiner. And that's what they put their first, first foot forward with. And that's why it's so small. And maybe the other ones will be normal sized. This is all speculation. I think the deciding factor is when that Ginrai comes out. 
and we'll really be able to see what size they're going with. Well, this this is the the trains were definitely the focus of of this figure. This combined. And I believe they do scale with other model trains. I so, think they're HO scale, so that makes them need to be smaller. So, are we train collectors or are we transformer collectors? I think in Japan they were going after train collectors because they knew transformer collectors would buy them. Okay, so again, my issue with the pushback that we were receiving for it is that everyone said that this scaled with Masterpiece. This, oh. com this combiner does not scale with Masterpiece. That's the issue. It has nothing to do, you know, if you put the train next to a car, you know, or next to the, a truck or something like that, the train is, might be longer, but it's not the same size. I understand it. it's scaling with train collectors. But we're transformer collectors, and so I, if you're if you're looking at this as a figure, it doesn't scale with the figure. I, I I don't think there's any debate that this is not masterpiece sized, but I mean in the future, maybe, you know, something will work out. This honestly would work great as a legends, um, Raiden, per perfect, you know. But I think in the future we might see different scales, and they might be bigger, just because. This one is a one-off. They were catering to an audience that they don't usually cater to. And they do have a train line. I don't know if you knew that, Bobby. Takara has a transforming toy robot train line in Japan. And they might have wanted this to scale with that. Again, there's arguments to be made that they shouldn't have done that. But whatever the case may be, maybe we will see normal masterpiece size. Do I think that's going to happen? The cynic in me says, no, everything's going smaller. But maybe. Again, when this was first announced, because I jumped on it, they said it was MP It was MP size. So if you take away MP, this, this goes back to the frustration that we <laughs> talked about last time with TF Source. If you take away limited, I'm okay with it. If you take off MP, MP scale, MP size, whatever, I'm okay with it. It's when you put those that those two letters or that word in there that I have a problem with because it's like this. I don't have any of these figures next to my MP size figures. <laughs> yeah, I even if they took away the masterpiece, I don't think I'd be okay with it. Um, and then the are... quality, yeah. The, I yeah. mean, the tra again, the train looks amazing. Trains look great. I and hate I what's hanging off of their the 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 tumors they got hanging off of their legs. I hate those. Yeah. Um, let, let's let let's move on. Okay. I I I'll wear the the negative nanny. <laughs> we're I'm going to I'm going to get you and we're going to get negative Nancy hats and we're going to put them on when we're <laughs> feeling in a mood cuz you're definitely feeling in that mood today. But TF Toronto opened up more hotel blocks, so if you're going and you don't have a hotel room, go ahead and book it while you can. Man, James, let's, let's just go. Oh yeah, no. Let's do it. I I I'd, I'd be I'd get another sickness, so have fun. <laughs> um Let's get into what's just announced. On the Hasbro side of things, not so cool stuff. On the third party, some some pretty cool stuff. Just because we're not statue collectors. I think this is amazing. I love that it has both modes as the statue. Most of them only have one or the other. But And it has fur. Pre-orders are going to start summer of 2024. And <coughs> it looks really cool. But I'm not a statue collector. I think it looks great as well. I wish that they could have done, and I, I, I don't know. I might not have even liked it. It's cool that they show both figures, but I don't want to see the same character on top of himself. I think for a statue, it works. Well, so I was it's thinking, kind of like a display. You know what I mean? Like yeah. how you have Blitzwing in three different modes right. on your shelf. It's the same type of thing. I think I would have liked them either next to each other. Oh, okay. I get what you're saying. I get what you're you know, saying. You yeah. know, because if by looking at this, I'm like, oh, okay. So what does the, what does the one on top transform to? <laughs> or what does the one on the bottom transform into? And so if I, I had this, you. yeah, that, that's my only gripe. But it looks great. I love the way the, the uh, trees and stuff look in it. I love the light. It looks really good. 
Next, we've got the um, Dark of the Moon Optimus with Battle Platform. I wish I liked this figure because, like, all this stuff here looks really cool. It looks like it would be a good. Well, this is a statue, too. It looks like a great diorama, is what I was yeah. with, with, about to say. Yeah, like, I just don't like this figure. Yeah, I mean, even if it wasn't a statue, I wouldn't be picking it up, but it looks cool. Yeah. You know, I always liked the fact that his trailer turned into like some circle, like jump gate thing. I thought that was really cool. At least that's what I remember in my mind, whether or not that's what it was in the movie. I don't know. But, I don't remember. Um, yeah, it looks cool. So let's get into the third party side. And we've got an energy cage for Legacy Gears. The crazy thing is, I'm trying to remember. I remember the episode. I don't remember this cage. And I, like, I know that they they <laughs> caught gears, and this is when they took the chip out of his chest. Um, and we'll talk about it when we do our hauls. I actually did get gears as well. I I like this from Funby Studios. I can't remember again if the cage was in color or something like that. If it was, I would have liked to see it, seen it maybe in that color or some type of translucent. Maybe if it was black, then you know, I guess they knocked it out. Yeah, that that was my thing. If it's an energy cage, I'd expect it to be purple because it looks like the Decepticons are trapping gears. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't know anything about it, so it still looks good for what it is. Yeah, I like the Avenger John, but it looks good. Next, we've got Non-F's Windsweeper kit. Now, I might pick this up because, you know, I like Windsweeper. And I was kind of disappointed that they just gave him the two guns, in the, the two Target Masters in silver. Um, and this is only $10, and I think it looks really good. Yeah, when, when I saw this, I was just like, wait a minute, that's not Windsweeper. And then I realized they're just showing it on the mold that they they yeah. could. I think it's, I think it's fine. I not picked up anything from non-f in a couple of years i spent a ton of money with you know the dotson stuff or the the lambo brothers i just i spent a lot of stuff on on these uh upgrade kits prior to me finding out about third party and so this looks good i i definitely want to see what it looks like on the the figure when, when it's released yeah and there might be different upgrade sets that come from china that might have bigger guns which i don't think it's accurate but i am always down for a bigger bfg <laughs> so let's keep it going with more upgrade sets and we have dna dk54 optimus prime from animated and this looks really good I'm not going to be picking it up, but this looks really, really nice. It really makes this character stand out. I must admit, I, I, I like it. It does look really good. Yeah. I'm not picking it up, but yeah. I do think it looks it looks really good. It, it To me, it, it looks like it it levels him out, you know? Somehow. Um, like, the chest was huge. Yeah. And it kind of makes it look more proportional. Yeah. <laughs> I love that the ladder turns into a gun and he could carry it that's really cool um and the alt mode looks really good as well it they did a great job with this i am honestly quite surprised this is the best version of this power master wing blade i don't know what type of prime this is but i think this is the best version that we've seen so far this looks good this this looks really good yeah uh yeah, this this is almost one of those things where if somebody got me this figure, I would be like, "Yo, where's the kid at?" <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> you know. So, yeah, it looks it looks really good. I they did they did a, an amazing job. Of, they did so so well on this that I would almost buy this figure. Yeah. I I have to agree. Um maybe if they come out with Toxitron or M Motormaster, we'll get an equally cool colored kit. So, yeah, this looks that we'd good. be more interested in picking up. At yeah. least I would be. I still don't like animated, but yeah, this looks better. Next, we've got Doctor Wu Slaughter and Brutality. I love those names. I didn't even say that. <laughs> <laughs> These are a little late. 
because they go with that siege sound wave mm. it's a little late for those if you ask me um i think it was rumored that we're gonna have a leader class sound wave is it gonna be the same old who knows but um yeah and i think they should have flipped the model of overkill around because i think the other side would have looked a lot better i could be wrong but of the tape of the tape mode yeah okay. <laughs> because like i think it would have been clean with the white on the other side but i don't know what it looks like obviously so yeah i mean i think i think these look fine i don't think i'll be picking them up i, I have a couple of sets of these in from other companies so i don't think i'll pick them up but they look fine i think i really like the colors of these so um I don't know. I think I think sometimes it's good, to, especially for for people who may not collect the MP size tapes that have come out. These would be great for their legends or you know whatever scale yeah. they're collecting. So I think these are, are are nice. I agree. Next, let's talk about this guy. So Mechanic Toy Studios MS Thirty Seven Giant Axe. So it's <coughs> oh, excuse me, obviously broadside. What are your thoughts on this? This looks good. This this might be the best looking broadside that we've had. I agree. Even though that jet mode looks horrible, it probably is going to be the best broadside we've had in a long time. I I, I definitely the jet mode is probably the weakest, but it's it, it looks so it looks so much better than what we've had. Yeah, and you should get it because it scales perfectly. With your Doctor Wu figures, I actually think I am going to get it. Yeah, I knew you were going to. I think I am. You bought the Sandstorm, so you that's, might as well. Buy yeah, this that's exactly why. Because I now don't you know need a when. Springer. I have Springers. I, I have. Yeah, but you need a Legends one, so you could have the trio in Legend scale. Uh, I'm okay. Um, <laughs> unless they come out with some crazy color that I I won't get in MP, but this is this is something that I I think I'll pick up. It'll be great if they came out with a ko oversized but i might be asking for a lot <laughs> if they did that i'd probably pick it up yeah yeah i'm not gonna pick it up right now just because i broadside was my favorite of the three uh, probably because springer and sandstorm are so samey with what they turn into helicopters and helicopter in a car aircraft. whether it's a dune buggy or a future it's the same thing right this was always unique and different um but I just don't need a legend scale one. Yeah, well, this is definitely. I mean, and then the side. I mean, ter turns to aircraft carrier. I mean, like, <laughs> you know, and a. And <laughs> well, a I always and thought it turned into a, a an aircraft carrier is the Earth mode, and then it could turn into a Cybertronian like space shuttle jet thing for its other mode, and that could make sense with the size, because yeah. it's not an Earth jet; it's a space jet. Which I could totally see this being. That makes yeah, and yeah. and it rivals Astro Train. Yeah, that exactly, exactly. So, yeah. All right, well, let's keep it going. So, Kang Toys showed off Huge Rhino, the tr uh, teaser of Huge Rhino. But am I wrong, or is the last picture the monkey foot? Ooh, that is a monkey foot. Cause I don't look like no rhino. That's a monkey foot. I, I told you these things are going to come fast. Yeah. Um, I'm honestly very disappointed right now. All of them have the same color scheme. There's oh. no variation between them. And I don't like that. I was hoping the monkey would at least be like more silver or more black, you know, to give a little bit of difference in the combined mode. The combined mode is going to look like that Superion, which we'll talk about in a little bit. That's just going to be washed out. I'm... I think I'm. I think I'm okay with it so far. Well, of course I'd probably be okay with it because I'm. You're gonna be. You would be okay with it if it came out in turd brown. You would still be picking it up. Nah, nah. Yeah, you know. would. I don't like. You brown make up much. something where oh, this is the real colors of the animals or something like that. Now, if they did come up with the real colors of the animals, I would. <laughs> that would that would be pretty cool, like a Beast Wars. Yeah. Color that would be pretty cool. But anyways. Was, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm I'm a little disappointed. I don't know if I'm going to be keeping my pre-orders. This is very expensive for something that I don't really like. Um, and I don't think these are going to be selling out. 
honestly. So if I cancel my pre-orders and they show the combined mode and I like it, I could probably just re-get my pre-orders. Because I, yeah. I this isn't I don't think this is a very um in demand product. I think people like it, but it's not like you know, it's gonna be like the gold one. I actually think this one's gonna be, be do better than the gold one. I hope it does, because then we could get some cooler color schemes out there. I think that actually I, I, I think more people are interested in this one than they are even the first one. A lot of people really? have talked about um uh, we've seen I've seen it in the comments, especially where a lot of people said that they don't have a, a version of the king and they're in on this one. Oh wow. Cool. So well, yeah. Maybe I'll keep my pre orders then and just resell them later. Um <laughs> so this looks good though. I I mean it looks good. I'm just disappointed because I like variety in my combiners. Well, I mean, we are only seeing a foot, so the main chest or whatever could also or you're right. You're right. Could you're be. Right. Let me take off my negative Nancy hat and we'll continue with I they just said Jin Bao. So I don't know if that's talking about the Jin Bao Devastator mm -hmm. or if it's Jin Bao Unicron. No. I don't so, know. But why don't you enlighten us? Yes. So um so you remember we met the gentleman in California and in LA who's doing the um the four foot um, yes. combiners. Yeah, shout out to Alan. So this is this is his uh oh, okay his version I, of I was like because that looks so much better than Mike Toys. <laughs> and they showed off theirs. Yeah so, so this is I, I see the, it. yeah so this is Alvin uh shout out to uh, Alvin Reyes on Facebook and actually we need to get him on the show we did talk we about do. bringing him in and and talking about um <laughs> these he's he's put up so um very talented mentioned, very talented we were able to see the metroplex and the Trypticon, and he mentioned all the others that he has so um he has this this looks great this looks and and we can see just how big it is if the chest is a little bit you know basically the the legs and part of the torso or at least the waist of this devastator this thing's gonna be huge yeah. and i love it still too small for a planet <laughs> but i don't think you're gonna get scale perfectly with unicron i think this would be a very good scale i think so too and uh yeah i, I have to reach out to him and and see if we can get him on the show and see if we, he, he can show some of his other figures because they look great let's do and it. they transform yeah, that's the coolest part. Let's move on to some weird KOs. These are via Baidu users. I don't even know what to say. Besides, these, these would maybe be fun to repaint. These are the crazy colors you're always talking about. Yeah, but they look marshmallow-y. I just knew you would love these. They're not I bad. I just don't like to go hunting for these things anymore. Now that Sir Toys is out of business, because I used to get all my KOs through Sir Toys. And I just don't I don't trust all these different websites. They, but they they're fine. They were ten bucks, you know. Found them at, you know, a little shop or something, I pick them up. The one on the left, it looks like three Decepticon vehicles. Those colors they they just look like and, and the combined mode it looks like a decepticon figure yeah and i just they, they, they look, look good yeah I, yeah I, I mean like i said i would pick them up if i could get them on a reputable site or if some other website stocked these there's more ko's they did i think it's the blast off from war robot ron um i wouldn't mind getting one of those honestly to repaint I always thought it was a cool mold. And then we have, I think it's a Chinese police car. <laughs> I hate how he holds his gun. Yeah, the tab on the inside of the hand. I can't stand that. Yeah, so I'd be skipping out on that one too. It reminds me of the rob was it robot in disguise. The the micro, the I don't even know what they were called. The micro masters. Spy changers. Yes, those, the, the weapons that I think some of those pegged into. The I don't spy. know. I I have a few of them, and they peg into the fists. Yeah, I think so. But maybe think, some of the other molds yeah. pegged into the arms. I want to think. I want to say Mirage did. I can't remember, but yeah, yeah. I hate that. 
keeping it going we've got bdt studios um uh, bdt studio kit for studio series 86 dinobot sludge and it gets rid of his little belly i like that yeah it's a quality of life improvement <laughs> it is yeah <laughs> it looks gosh i haven't pulled that figure out in forever and I'm trying to figure out why it's still not on clearance at Walmart. <laughs> if it was on clearance, I'd probably pick it up to get turn it into paddles. But yes, I'm yeah. waiting. It's still fifty five dollars. I'm like, come on. So, if you guys want to get rid of his little pooch, you can. That's what. Next, we've got Metagates G07. So I remember when the black version came out, people were saying that. It wasn't accurate to the movie, so I'm assuming this is the one that's accurate to the movie when he was black and red. I love the car. Oh, he's picking it up. I, I think I am. I, what type of car is it? It's a Mercedes AMG. It's it's beautiful. I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I, I shouldn't even say I think I am. I, I already have a pre-ordering for it <laughs> you hear it here first folks he is now a movie verse collector no i'm a nice car collector that transformed movie verse collector it will, it, Bobby will just, it will stay just like that why don't you just get a model kit then because i want to be able to display it with my transformers and nobody would know the difference i would <laughs> all right all right movie verse collector let's get into some updates first thing is commander class armada optimus prime is getting a reissue which is cool if you guys missed out on this it looks decent um i would personally put that money into fans hobbies version personally i hate that diaper flap on his <laughs> crotch it is they could have just cut two lines into it and it would have been leagues better. Other than that, I do think this looks pretty good for a Hasbro product. That's like a that's like a Hulu skirt. skirt. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. Now, if they painted it green oh, God. and gave them a feature of going back and forth, then I might have to pick it up. Yeah, I I saw this and immediately thought of how you were going to say I'd pick it up in a heartbeat if it was this color or that color, or if they improved on that flap, but. I I passed on it when I was when I saw it in the stores, but this was a lot of people's figure of the year. Yeah, so it's obviously pretty good. Um, I didn't think about alternate colors. I mean, if they did come out with the kooky color scheme, I'd probably pick it up then. Not gonna lie, but not not as Optimus. So, I mean, even though we know this is your favorite color scheme of Optimus Prime, if if in the the original, yes um not this this mold but if i saw this on sale for like 30 percent off <laughs> it'd have to be a little bit more than 30 percent off right I, I i'd look into it. how much was it it's 100 a uh, yeah yeah okay maybe like 45 percent off <laughs> i'd be okay with 45 percent. i'd yeah. be okay with 40 yeah. All right. Well, since you are now a movie collector and you got pre-orders in for movie toys, let's talk about MPM Brawl. I don't know why they really showed the scale comparison. We knew it was going to be larger than the Studio Series. <laughs> MPG. <That's what>. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then they also showed it off with the render. So obviously it doesn't look exactly like it, but it looks close enough to it. He looks like he ate the render. <laughs> Stop being mean. Next, we've got a, a, a scale <laughs> comparison with other cars, and it's okay. The tank should obviously be much larger, mm -hmm. but it's okay because probably they want the robot modes to look decent together. But I really like this like ripped-off arm accessory that they're giving him. That's really cool. I, I like the render better. Uh, it's just like... He's a brick, like straight down. There's like no. Well, yes, but they don't have to make it in real life for the render. 
I know, but it could have literally a trillion moving parts. You can't do that with this. Yeah. Um, so they had a whole bunch of notes, and there wasn't many new news in there that I could find. But I did find this fact that Brawl's tanks were repurposed from Triple X State of the Union. I did not see that movie. I don't think I've seen that one, but I saw the first one and I really liked the first Triple X. So, um. You're yeah, a Vin maybe. Diesel fan? What? You're a Vin Diesel fan? No, not really. That's that's my wife. Um. <laughs> I just, I, I like those kooky action movies from the early 2000s. Um, but that would be, that hit, that would be a selling point to me if they would have told me this is the tank from that movie, but they didn't. So, <laughs> well, now you know it though. Yeah, but they, 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 Hasbro should have marketed <laughs> that way. Next, you got Yellow Park's AMK series, Transformers Rise of the Beasts, Rhinox in hand images. And these are via TFW. I think they got a review sample. And it looks good still. Doesn't really look like a Transformer. But it looks good. It looks like one of the characters off of 300. It looks like somebody in a armor. <laughs> yeah. It really does. But. Yeah. All right. Let's just move on. Yeah. <laughs> Next, we've got Studio Series 112. One Optimus Prime. I'm sorry. I cannot get over the gray they used. And I watched pictures. They painted the thighs this yellow color instead of silver. And I um, was reading some forums and stuff. And they said, this is not my word. Somebody else said this. Hasbro's pre-yellowing the transformer so you can't complain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind this. Because it looked from the from the trailer what we saw, it looks like they're working and they're in a dirty area, and so that's makes me think that he's just dirty on his. But again, the red and the blue is all clean. But I was just that's what I was gonna say. But you said it for me. Yeah, that's the that's the. Uh, that's that, optimist that's, in you. I don't know. It's just I don't. I, like I it. will say these look better than the promotional pictures. It looks more gray than it does yellow because the promotional fi photos look straight up yellow, and I don't understand who's in charge at Hasbro making these horrible decisions. But this does look better. Some in hand images. Still not going to get it. Um, not at all. Yeah. This is this is. You know, and I think Optimus should get a Voyager, not a Deluxe, honestly. <coughs> I I just can't. I, I just don't like the way it looks at all. Like, nothing about it. I don't like the way it looks. And they had an interview with the director or something, and I believe you read that article. So what did that say? So I, I, I read part of it, and, you know, you can look up um, his his whole interview um it was it was very disappointing um he mentioned that he watched all the live movies and saw the cartoons but uh he even added that hasbro gave him the the bible the transformer bible um but he said and i'm paraphrasing here that who cares about that stuff? It's all about the characters. And his focus is building the characters because no matter what the plot is, if you like the characters, then you'll love the movie, in essence. I think that's where a lot of fans, especially what I saw in the comments, were kind of complaining about is that we wanted to see a movie for us. I've come to terms with this isn't going to be a movie for us. <laughs> but what he also tried to do is make it for everybody so he tried to spread a little bit of this here a little bit of this here so if you've seen the movies if you've read the comics if you've watched the cartoons there's a little bit in there for everybody which i really appreciate i rather had not heard him say that they gave him the bible and he said you know don't have time for that and i'm gonna develop you know build on the character relationships and stuff um 
it's 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 truth so i respect his truth on that but that just lets me know that this is definitely like i'm not going to be surprised that the movie is the way it is i'm not looking for it to have anything that's going to make me feel like ah uh, that's you know I'm, I'm i'm with it here i'm following it all the way through i think it's just going to be like a little sprinkle of something that's going to be g1 a sprinkle for something that's um you know maybe bayverse or you know whatever there's just going to be little sprinkles on here and then it's really just going to be built on the characters relationship of prime and megatron and how they were bosom buddies and then whatever happens and they go their different ways to be better bitter enemies <laughs> yeah i i agree i feel like when you have something with so many iterations as transformers just like spider-man or whatever you have to be very careful with what you choose because if you choose the wrong thing you're gonna get everybody to hate it you know and i think that he should have maybe been a little bit more careful and actually maybe read the whole bible that they gave him i would love it if they published that bible i would that, that's my type of thing going through all of that um and i feel like i hope that he's just talking out of his butt and he actually did some research and did that um but time will tell yeah because i think i think that's probably again for us older folks that's the biggest complaint i've seen is that you know whoever's making these movies doesn't know anything about transformers and so when you literally say that i had all the material but i'm ignoring it to do this you know or i've watched the bay verse movies you know or whatever which most people say that they didn't know anything about transformers so again i still see this as a kid movie i'm not getting my hopes up um but this basically means that this is just going to be a movie that's titled transformers and has names of characters that we're familiar with but it could have been teenage mutant ninja turtles it could have been anything it could have been bots i think you know i saw in the comments robots too or whatever it could have been anything <laughs> transmorphers um, yeah yeah so um a little disappointing but again i think i'm still gonna go see it and i'm still gonna support it and i hope it i hope it wows me and i hope it is just a good transformer movie that or a good movie that has transformers names on it and i i do bond with prime and megatron and i'm hurt at the end that they're no longer friends and bitter enemies well you know they're gonna have a happy ending where hundreds of years in the future they hug and they make up because that's yeah. how hollywood likes to do it nowadays yeah uh, <coughs> but the mainline packaging for transformers one does look really nice it looks really good I think they should have just made the studio series look like this and it would have popped off the shelf more. I love that bluish color and the little purple. I, I think these looks... <laughs> if I were to get these figures, they would stay in the box. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we've got the comic book Grimlock. Not my favorite, but I can see why people would like it. What don't you like about it? I don't like the blue. I know that's what he looked like in the comics. Okay. And I get that was limitations of the ink, but I don't, I don't like the blue. I also okay. don't like how bright the yellow is, but that's the same problem. You couldn't get that cool gold color because of the limitation in the comic ink. I like the black outlines around it. And the cell shading and dino mode actually looks pretty good from this angle. And these images are via Notrab on Weibo. I mean, he does great images, so. Yeah. And even in bot mode, like on his chest and around his, you know, eyes and like the, the, um, I can't, I can't think of the name of it, but the line, the, the, the black lines that they're doing around his eyes and stuff like that, it looks really detailed. So I like this. I, and I do have a, a pre-order <laughs> in for this, so. But that's what annoys me from his waist and thighs i can't really see the bottom legs there's nothing oh yeah and i feel like you need if you're gonna do it go all out and yeah. they did it yeah which i think i talked about in the mm -hmm. past and then they also showed off shockwave now i did complain before about the sprues it's not as bad as i thought it's only one piece 
I thought it was going to be the whole thing in Spruce. The gold oh. was going to be separate from the base, and then the head was going to be in like three parts. No, it's just the part that holds the head up. So it's really not that bad. Yeah. Um, and if it saved them ten dollars to put on the figure, I say go for it. Um, yeah, it, it's. I don't like the black on this one personally. It looks kind of haphazard. It's throwing me off, but I don't like the color of the fist and the gun. Like, I know it was transparent or like, you know, on the original toy and it's always been like off color, but I don't like it on this figure. That's, it, that's probably, again, it's the limitations of the printing of the times that they couldn't get that color they actually wanted. And they had to kind of because they could only print with X amount of colors. Oh, yeah, of yeah. course. And I didn't. I didn't look at the comic. I thought. I thought in the comics he was actually darker purple as a whole. But I thought he was too. But let us know in the comments below. I know we have quite a few um, fans that watch our channel that that grew up on the comics. Yeah. Um, so let us know if this is an accurate colors for Shockwave. Yeah, those look <laughs> off to me. But okay. Next, we're getting into third-party territory, and we have Iron Factory IFEX44FG City Commander, first generation. So it's only the little guy. You have to already have the Magnus to get it. Um, he's nine centimeters tall, and it'll com completely replace the one that it came with, which was only six centimeters tall. <coughs> the car shell has a new head carving, and I guess they, this is what they said. The head carving optimizes the curve of the face. I think that's translated. Um, and when the main body is separated, the keel for the internal support of the armor can realize the independent activities of the main body and the armor. I don't really know what that means. This looks okay. I just don't like that he doesn't have a faceplate. And I wouldn't get it already because I don't like that Magnus. Well, it's the inner bot. Yeah, but he doesn't have a faceplate and it's legend scale. So But it's the inner nine bot. Nine centimeters tall. That's is that even two inches? Yeah, that's two inches, but that's the inner bot though. You love inner bots. <laughs> I don't like this mode though. What does that it turn is... into? It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it, it I get it's, it's supposed to be very stylized and Cybertronian, but it's a weapons carrier. Yeah, because I, when I look at this, the front part, I'm like, what do you turn into? <laughs> it's a weapons carrier. A box with wheels. Um, <laughs> so, I yeah, I, I wouldn't pick this up. But unless, like, uh, unless. Okay. Ten, has bucks. Ten bucks, and I see it at a store. I'm not buying it online. Oh, you're not getting it. <laughs> well, you never know. Maybe Chosen Prime will have one that has a bent box and they're selling it for 10 bucks. <laughs> we'll see it. Maybe we'll see it in Baltimore. <laughs> so, keeping it going, we got Robot Toys DT01 Little B, the test shot. I guess they had extra plastic from their Megatron and they <laughs> just printed the prototype on this. I really like how this looks in these colors, though. Oh. When you said I really like, I was just like, oh, okay. No, I just think the purple and the black look really good. But again, I think you could put that on any figure yeah. and it would look good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I. <laughs> it's it's fine for what it is. Not my It looks better than the other one that we talked about last week or last yeah. news cycle. Yeah. Yeah. That thing was bad. <laughs> but it's it's fine. Yeah, I don't think it looks bad. Yeah. Next, we've got Touch Toys Dust Dragon. I I have a pre order in on this, but I don't think I've ever paid attention to the the helmet on him. It's a very like Chinese warrior helmet. Yeah. And that's like all of them that they have. They all have like a Chinese motif, Chinese warrior motif. I'm. I think I'm still in. I don't. 
I don't love it. I think it this way. looks better than Toys Easy's versions. I think this looks really cool. It's very unique. Um, I'm probably mm -hmm. not going to get it because all of their things are too expensive for my tastes. If this was 70 bucks, I'd be in. But we know it's not going to be that. That's how much this is worth to me because it's not a character that I... Well, that anybody knows. They made it up. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but if it was that much, I would be picking this up. I think this looks really cool. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm still going to get it. You're going to pick it up, Bobby. I just said that. I think don't don't gonna... lie. Don't say I think. Say I'm still picking it up. All right. We had so... a comment saying if you have a pre-order, you're gonna pick it up. So I've canceled a pre-order before. And then have you bought the figure again? That's not the point. I said I've canceled <laughs> a pre-order before. <laughs> um. Yeah. I don't. Th I don't know. This. It's, again, it's not my favorite, but. Maybe in hand, it'll, it'll do something for me. I, don't I think it'll clean up a little bit more when you see it in hand. Because right now, it looks kind of crazy. But I love this stand that it comes with. It does look like water. But it also looks like crystal, and it looks like a museum piece. I think that is so neat. <coughs> I really it's, like it. Yeah. Uh, and it does, if you, we go back, it looks like it folds up and becomes a stand for the robot. Yeah, it looks like it folds in half. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm in for this. The the crazy thing is I have the you know the toys the toys easy version that will be in combined mode and then I can have this one next to it in alt mode or if if I don't like the bot mode, so um, yeah. it'll it'll look good for my display. My my war display. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. Let's keep it going. You need to pick this up. This is Rising Force Toys Combiner. This is four out of five. It's right up your alley. Go ahead and pick it up, Bobby. It's a character I like, but I. the crazy thing is I did have pre-orders in for these until they changed them to the Legend scale. It looks fine. I, I don't like Minasaur's feet. They do look a little weird, and they're different colors in both pictures. I'm assuming that's lighting. That's lighting. It better but be But, like, they're very different in the two pictures. Yeah. It is definitely blue and purple. Uh, I did, like, I, I saw, I started to watch a transformation video on the Roadmaster. And, um. The, the Roadmaster? I mean, um. Motormaster? Motormaster. <laughs> uh, I was thinking Road King, which is the fan, the oh. fan toy's name, and and uh motor master so motor master the the chess bot or the chess car or whatever and that looked kind of cool how they do that and i mean it looks like it's a fine combiner it does i don't see any glaring holes in it but i just don't need another minasaur i don't need a minasaur in in um legend scale i have what if they do g2 colors i'm working on i have one g2 X transbots and I'm working on the G2 DX9. I'm waiting for one figure. So what if it would they have Autobot be... colors? Uh, well, now, now we might With be the talking. center being Optimus and then you know well I don't like that whole, and, I don't like that whole combiner wars look but well wasn't that part of a episode in G1 where that they did that? You you know what they did do that in they, they like pretended to be the Autobots or something? Yeah I mean, I could be completely wrong. Please they, let us know in the comments. Yeah, they, there was an episode where they pretended to be the Autobots, but yeah, I don't. I didn't. I never liked that about Combiner Wars. Prime doesn't need to combine with any other figures in my mind. But that's how you get friendship. I don't like friendship that much. I like. Next, we've got Magnificent Mecha MM01P via Meng Motion. Um, it looks great. And not for me. And here it is with the other primes. And they all transform, which is crazy. I'd hate to see how hard that is to transform. But they all look really good together. I think I like the, the Shattered Glass one the best. I, I just wish the windshield was green, not yellow. Makes sense. Because I just think green would work better with that color scheme. Um, but I do agree with you. It does look the best out of all of them. 
yeah i'm i'm a, i'm not in for any of them but and then the the prime one it, like the midsection where that red is it just looks like somebody threw paint on them like the other two the yeah. with the purple or with the black it's it looks so it looks cleaner uh, but the red part on him that midsection it just looks like literally somebody just took some finger paint or had paint on their hands and was just like blah Don't make fun of the painters, Bobby. Yeah. Gonna have the union coming after you. Next, we've got a New Age DOTM Megatron tease. Again, it looks great. Looks like it did in the movie. Just not something that I particularly want in my collection. I hated this Megatron. This, this like, hurt the crap out of me. But it does look spot on. See, and... now I, I liked the original toy of this Megatron mm -hmm. because it didn't look like Megatron and I can make it be somebody else in my collection. It wasn't big and bulky and stuff. He was actually quite skinny. Um, and that was cool, but this looks like Megatron should. So mm -hmm. I'd be out. Yeah. Um, I know the, the, they've been teasing us with the alt mode for so long. I'm glad they finally showed, you know, somewhat of the bot, but the head looks, it looks spot on. So it does. good job for him on that. I still don't know how they get away with it, but you know, <laughs> whatever. This is all for you. We got King Toys Terra Howl. I saw the I saw a video on this today. Yes. These these are screen caps taken from that video. And it's different from what we saw in the early concept and everything. And I I like it. It's I think this might be what you were asking for from the Kang Toys, is that like this one doesn't look this it's the same color scheme or color combinations but the placement of the the color on this figure makes it look different than the the first dinobot that they released yeah um and it looks like they redid the paint so it doesn't look like racing stripes on the wings anymore mm -hmm. it looks like just a deco um and it looks really good i do like it um but knowing kang toys i will wait for the dark repaint to come out well, now that I know that this is what they're doing. Because, I mean, this looks good and all, but it looks like a Dinobot. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. Right. Because I have a combining Dinobot set and I don't need another one. I'm not like you who wants like five combining Dinobot sets because that's your favorite combiner. Um, but I'll wait for the Nemesis color. Uh, but the all mode does look really good as well. It looks better. <laughs> Watching the video, it looked better than yeah. what I had seen in the yeah. pictures before. Yeah, I agree. It looks good. <sighs> They're just going <laughs> to rape my pockets this this year. That's not hard to do. <laughs> Let's get into what's incoming. I can't even First argue. Is... <laughs> what was that? I said I can't even argue. Yes. Next, we've got Magic Squares Tyrannosaurus Rex in production via Weibo user. It, it doesn't look like it looks like um what are the non-transforming um transformers red yes it looks like it looks those like legs red. definitely yeah that's what i'm saying the legs which look, is impressive it's, if it transforms properly yeah it just and i actually saw a video of the transformation and it's actually pretty exciting the it's not what we typically uh -oh. see he's excited about it i I'm not going to get it in this sure? color. I'm not going to get it in this color. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it actually, like, <laughs> I was just like, wow, that's that's different. So, um, yeah, I, I like the It's with the arms. That was really cool. Yeah. Like how like, you could turn them different ways and have a double jointed or not. And that was pretty cool. Yeah, the way the back wings attach and everything. I was just like, oh, that's, that's pretty cool. I like yeah. that. It's very different. Next, we've got Dreamstar Studio Scorch Flight, which I assume is Fire Flight. Mm -hmm. I can't tell because the colors are the same. Via and these are via I am on. I am no fire. I think it's I am on fire. I don't know. Um, it's via Weibo user, which does amazing um, pictures again. I just don't like this. Similar to the fans' toys, Fire Flight was my least favorite. 
of the aerial bots so I'm, I'm just happy to get it so i can finish the combined mode yeah that's pretty much what i'm waiting on i, I just don't like the color scheme it's so blah this one is it's, very blah and i hate how big the nose coat is behind his head but that's how this one had a big I nose coat. I, I just don't it. like it i don't care if it's oh. what it's supposed to look like oh, okay. i just don't like it yeah so i this is just my uh, least favorite bot and my least favorite jet of the and set. i'm gonna do this now you have no QC issues. Oh, come on, man! I actually, I actually picked up something <laughs> that I think is very appropriate, and I, I can't wait to show it off on our halls. Well, look forward to that. So, for recently released, I guess T Rex was found at Target from TFW boards member Fuse Nine. 20 bucks, man. That's all you right there. I didn't even see the price. I would set the store on fire if they were charging <laughs> that much for these things. <laughs> Who is this for? You. No, it's not for me. Beast I, Wars? I, I never, and it's not just Transformers. I've never understood the five points of articulation figures. <laughs> They're so expensive and you could go get a better figure. If it's Marvel, go get a Marvel Legend. You know what I mean? Um, I I don't get it. Somebody, I was reading something about on forum. They were talking about Super 7, which makes these, I think. <coughs> and they said, is Super 7 forced to make these? Because I guess they released a five points of articulation, 20 inch tall. Um, what's that villain? King of Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland, thirty hundred dollars. I mean, if somebody gave me three hundred and twelve dollars, I I'd buy it. I don't even think I'd. I Actually, don't I'd, the money. I'm, I'm, they'd have to give me more than that because they'd have to pay me to buy it. So that's. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, if you guys are looking for this, please let me know what this appeals to you I, i'm really curious because this does nothing to me so you if i had again the disposable income to do this if i had all the figures i wanted and i was just really you know all in for transformers and i just wanted to collect all all the media and stuff like that i would pick these up because it's a different look of different characters so you can see them in di how they look in different ways that's about it if I had all the money in the world, I would not be spending it on these figures. <laughs> maybe maybe the translucent Prime and Megatron that were their normal colors, that it were just translucent. Those were kind of cool and unique and different, but definitely not these three, especially since Tigertron is just cheat or repainted. That annoys me so much. I know the original one did, but they were such different figures or, on the, the TV. So, anyways, enough of that. Let's move into this that's coming out. We've got Magic Square's Mirror Commander. And I will say, now that it doesn't look like they're using bronze on the grill and the it's all silver, it is a little bit more cohesive. Because, <laughs> I swear, the pictures that we saw before were like bronzed chrome. Am I wrong? I don't remember. <laughs> okay, all right. I remember being bronze, and I remember that's why I thought the the hips didn't work with it because they're used bronze up here in silver. But now it looks more cohesive. I do think the teal on the crotch should have been green, not teal. No, I, I can see. I can see you saying that. Yeah, I'm. I'm in on this. I just. I. The crazy thing is. The pictures that we first saw when this was announced looked so much better than these. Right? <laughs> they did like, some heavy Photoshop there. Yeah. Like <laughs> it looked it looked really good. Like when I saw it, I was just like, oh, I gotta have this. If I would have saw these first, I'd have been like, okay. It's it's cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These these it looks fine, but it doesn't blow my socks away like their Magnus did. Yeah, it does. It does. It definitely doesn't. And, and that was because of the articulation, not because of the figure itself. 
Yeah. So I'm in on it, and you know, who knows what else we'll we'll get from them. Yeah. Maybe a Toxitron. I might be in on that. Um, yeah. Even I mean, though I prefer a Toxitron from fans' hobby off of their Scourge mold, because that's the mold he's supposed to be. But I'll right. take what I can get. Next, we've got New Ages Mimic and Nightcrawler. I'm I'm being. Are those like paint <laughs> blotches around Windcharger's head or whatever his name is? It looks like the paint's uneven. I know I'm being. I'm just nitpicking it. It's just on on the SG Windcharger, not Wasp. Yeah, unless you like around the the square around his head, it just looks like. I think that's lighting. Okay. I think that's a light from whatever. Okay. I'm in on these actually. I I did pre-order these. I think they look really good, but I saw that they were smaller than the G1 figures, and I had a little bit of a heart attack, and then I didn't pick them up. I'm trying to see if I have any G1 figures in here. Um. Oh. Yeah, I do. So let's see. Wow, I have a G1 Beachcomber. Um, practically the same size. Yeah, it's gonna be a little, little tiny. Yeah. but I don't. And I heard they were also very fiddly to transform because they're so small. Yeah, um, but they look really good. They do, and I think it'll look really good on the shelf, and I'm going to leave it at that <laughs> before I talk myself out of it. Next, we've got Yolo Park Prime. So this is out. If you guys want it, go ahead and pick it up. I know it's very easy. If you get this one and the Megatron, you can switch out the arms like the Skybound comics, which is kind of cool. Um, oh. But it looks great. Just not for me. It doesn't transform. But I yeah. wouldn't get it in Prime anyways. <laughs> yeah, that's. I remember talking about that, and it almost made me pick this up, and I didn't. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, with good. that, it does look good. With that being said, that's everything we have. And before I go into a coughing fit, Bobby, tell them what they should do. Please go ahead and click that notification button so you can be aware <laughs> of this and other videos that we post from time to time. We have some randoms come out from time to time. Uh, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Again, join us on this journey. If you haven't already, get to sharing these types of videos. We really appreciate it. And definitely comment, like, subscribe, share, notify, all that stuff. And we will be doing a live uh, for the members this week, um, probably on well, Sunday, hopefully. That, that works for everyone. Uh, so it's not too late to become a member. Um to join on that that uh members only and there are sp specific tiers that qualify for that live so um if you're not a member please check that out and i think i covered anything everything james you still breathing over there barely um but i will go ahead and see you guys next time as always to all debates are one see you next time